Hey guys, it's Asher here with Fit Me PTN, and uh, I want to give a big shout out to Cody Hewlett. He uh, messaged me on uh, at at fit.meptn at gmail.com uh, to uh, ask me about meal prep. Okay, and he wanted he wanted to know if this is something I could help him with, and uh, I, absolutely, you know, I would be more than happy to help you with meal prep, Cody. And uh, I'm hoping that by answering your question in this video, that it's going to be able to to have an effect and help other people as well. So I thank you for that as well, and everybody should thank Cody too. So here we go, meal prep. Now, first thing you need to know about meal prep is what you are doing is prepping yourself for a different type of lifestyle than you may already be living. Hmm. This means we need to be thinking about, are we ready to start meal prepping? Because this is a big change. You don't want to overload yourself. That's one thing that I've learned as a trainer, if I have not learned anything else, is that people are stressed in their lives as it is. They are not looking for someone to dump a lot of extra chores and work on them. You or me as the trainer, I am the trainer, I'm supposed to make this lifestyle transformation easier for you. And that's why this is the baby step approach that I take with my clients. And therefore, I'm going to take it with all of you as well. Because I'm going to treat all of you guys in my videos as if you're my clients. This is what you need to be doing. Okay. First things first. There's a couple things you need to know about meal prep before you can decide if it's if it's right for you or if you're ready to start doing it. Not so much whether or not it's right for you or if it's right for where you are, okay? You may just be starting to get used to how to eat and things like that. And you're and you see or you you may have been eating horribly. You may have horrible habits and know this and be like, "Okay, I need to change. I need to change. I need to jump in." Okay. Slow down. Let's decide What's going? What's not going to overwhelm you? I know you're balls to the wall, so excited, gonna do this, gonna jump in, woo, right now. But are you gonna feel that way three days from now, after you've been struggling to try and get this down, and you're not getting exactly perfect as quickly as you thought you could, as quickly as you thought you would? That's why I don't want my clients to burn out. So that's why I take. A few precautions. I want you guys to know what you're getting yourselves into. First things first, you need to understand you're eating leftovers. Does that bother you? Well, it doesn't bother professional athletes, but then again, they don't have to eat leftovers because they have enough money. They can just walk into Outback and say, hey, excuse me, I'm going to need that lean, lean chicken and some steamed broccoli over here. Yeah, 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 just put it on my tab. Yeah, must be nice, right? Well, we don't have that kind of money, but they still eat the same crap, the same stuff that you could be eating. You can eat that same stuff. The only difference is you have to do it in a way that fits your budget, which means you have to cook it, which means you have to cook it all. And if you're going to make it convenient for you, you're going to have to cook it all at once. So just know you're eating leftovers, bottom line. So secondly, get used to it. You're going to be eating the same thing. This is not a pleasurable event. You need to start realizing that meal prep is not one of those fun, exciting things where it's a treat every time you open your container. It's going to be great. You're going to be enthused for the first two or three days. After that, you're going to be like, fucking chicken and broccoli. Fucking good. Oh, man. This again. Oh, brown rice turkey burger. Brown rice turkey burger. You're going to be eating a lot of the same stuff. Why? Because otherwise you're going to be spending a gajillion dollars and spending a lot more time in the kitchen than you really want to. What do you want more? Do you want your results to come along and have more time to do other things in life simply because now you don't have to cook and you know that you're cooking, that what you're eating is going to be healthy and help you reach your goals? Is that worth eating the same things every day? Is that worth eating leftovers every day? Hmm. Yeah, it is! Duh, what are you thinking about? Okay, so here we go. Those are the things that you need to know, things you need to expect, okay? Here's the thing. A lot of people think, oh, eating healthy is so expensive. So is going to McDonald's every single night. Whether you want to realize it or not, it may be cheap in the moment. Let me tell you something. That adds up. So... <clears throat> let's do this. Add up what you normally eat in a day. How much it costs you. 
Then I want you to go to the store. I want you to tell me how much buying in bulk chicken is. I want you to look and see how much buying in bulk broccoli is. How much buying in bulk salmon is. How much buying in bulk brown rice, sweet potato, things like that. So. And then add that up. And then look at the portions. Look at the car and split it up. Tell me about how long you think that would last you and then see how much that costs a day. I guarantee you you're spending less if you're buying from the grocery store than you are if you're just going out and purchasing food. So you're saving yourself money. It's not as expensive as you think. Just realize you're not going to have the same variety. Those are the things you need to know going in. Now, these are the first steps you're going to need to take in order to prepare yourself for starting to prep and f prep your own meals. For two weeks, I have a challenge for you. For two weeks, this is what I want you to do. I want you to start getting used to eating multiple meals a day. Because generally, if you have the goal in the gym and you're trying to lose weight, or if you're trying to cut fat, which 90% of us are, anytime you're trying to cut fat, you're going to need to eat six, five to six meals a day. About every three hours, you need to be consuming food and eating. And the reason for that is, is to keep your metabolism burning high and fast because that helps with burning and targeting fat. Okay, so the higher metabolism is, the higher that your body metabolizes nutrients and utilizes them in a way and, and utilizes them in your body. The faster at the rate that happens, the faster you build muscle, the faster you recover, the faster that you... Um, that you will burn fat. You just have to make sure that you're eating the right proper things that go along with that. So again, first three things that you're going to start with. Let me just go over them real quick and then I'll go dive deep, slightly deep. Multiple meals a day. Pack your meals every day. And when I say pack your meals, that means you're putting meals together. When you wake up in the morning, you while you're having breakfast, you're going to pack your other five meals for the day even if they're your snacks, just so that you get used to physically separating and eating, knowing, okay, this is meal one, this is meal two, this is meal three. We are creatures of habit. You are retraining yourself and your habits. That's what we're doing here. I'm not going to throw you a bunch of numbers and expect you to go figure it out on your own. My job as a trainer is to make fitness fit easily into your life and make it something that you can sustain. Now, <clears throat> that being said, this is all about lifestyle habits. The first things that we're changing, first things that we're working on to get you ready for meal prep is all hab hab habitual. Multiple meals, getting you used to packing your meals every day and making sure that you're making better choices with your meals. Okay. If you have questions about better choices, make sure that you research clean eating or you can always inbox me at FitMePTN's Facebook or you can email me directly at fitme, fit.me.ptn at gmail.com. Okay. So now secondly, we got the last thing that I want you to start doing is thinking is mental. It's how you're thinking. Food is fuel. And this one is going to help you with number two. It's going to help you with packing your meals and making those better choices and making sure that the choices and foods that you're eating are nutrient dense, meaning that they have more nutrient per ounce or per gram than other comparable choices. Okay. Make sense. Okay. There you go, guys. That's going to be your first three things. First three things you need to know, you're going to be eating leftovers, get over it. You're, going to not, you're not going to have the same amount of variety. What do you want more? You want to be fat? You want to look your best and feel great and have more time on your hands? You're eating leftovers and you're eating the same thing. Is it expensive? No, it doesn't have to be. Stop making excuses. Now, what's the first third, what's the last, what's the three things that you're going to be doing and working on? What's your baby steps? Let's review. Baby steps, multiple meals a day. Pack your meals, nutrient dense, make better choices. Make sure that you're using tool number three to complete tool number two, which is going to be food is fuel. Remind yourself that when you're planning your meals, make sure you're planning to make sure that your body is fueled for what it's going to be doing that day. 
make sure you're properly planning that out. If you have any more detailed questions on how to get started with meal prep, feel free to inbox me again at fit.me. Yeah, fit.me.ptn at gmail.com. Or you can uh, message me directly on Facebook at the Fit Me PTN Facebook page. You guys have a great rest of your day. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video, short 10-minute uh, video on, uh, on meal prep. And there will be more to come. More specifics coming soon.